take a walk over Holiday Hill in Linden. And you'll come to a view over the Valley of Rocks. It's a place where people relax. Escape from the busy world. Walk. Admire the scenery. And take advantage of the open country. But there's something odd about the Valley of Rocks. There's something missing. Something you'd expect to find there. The Valley of Rocks is definitely a river valley. But there's no river. It's a puzzle. The West and East Lynn rivers sit in deep valleys leading down to Lynmouth. But a third valley extends to the west, with Linton sitting in the entrance to the Valley of Rocks. The valley is completely dry today, without even the hint of a riverbed. But go back. Go back 100,000 years, and look down the valley again. Then we can see a river meandering down the valley towards the west. But how is this possible? The valley where the Lynn reaches the Bristol Channel now may once have been blocked by higher ground. This would have diverted the Lynn River through what is now Linton and into the Valley of Rocks. And for thousands of years, the river would have cut its valley to reach the sea further to the west. But these cliffs were under attack. Waves were pounding at the base. Storms slowly cut away at the foundations of the cliffs. Undercutting the rocks. And at the same time, the Lynn River was eroding the landward side. Washing away material. Wearing down the rocks over the centuries. until eventually there was an opening to the sea. Once the barrier was breached, the Lynn River cut down deep into the rock, and the Valley of Rocks was left high and dry. So that would seem to explain it. The Lynn River did flow down the Valley of Rocks, but wave and river erosion cut a new, shorter valley to the sea at Lynmouth. Perhaps.
but there is another possibility. It requires freezing conditions and ice. Not just a cold winter, but an ice age. Long before people lived here, the ice sheets rolled down from the north until they pressed against the northern edge of Exmoor. The mouth of the Lynn River would have become blocked, causing the water to collect into an icy lake. Until eventually it overflowed and the water escaped westwards along the ice barrier. The rushing water cut a new valley where there had previously been none. And the valley became ever deeper. until the ice sheet retreated north and the Lynn River could return to its original course. Where the water had flowed westwards was now a dry valley. Now, thousands of years later, it's hard to be certain how the valley of rocks formed. It's the ruggedness of the valley that gives it its character. However it happened, it's left behind an area that draws people to it. And makes it a destination for all sorts of activities. or it can simply be the dramatic backdrop for events. Over the centuries, the valley has inspired artists and poets and continues to do so today. And is home to free roaming wildlife. The Valley of Rocks has become an ideal place to escape and roam freely in dramatic scenery. <laughs>